With me on the phone now, uh, taking time out of this very busy schedule, I much appreciate it, is Mayor uh, Dewey Bartlett of Tulsa. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you, Rhonda. Appreciate it very much. Well, one thing I can say about Oklahoma, and in particular Tulsa, just after watching some of the coverage, is that you guys apparently, you seem prepared for an event like this. Is this something that you guys do drills on on a regular basis? Well, yes, we do. Uh, we, we've had several drills, uh, and we've also had a history of, of direct experience in these type of activities, most of them weather-related, whether it's uh, tornadoes, ice, uh, just high uh, 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 high wind storms, uh, flooding, things such as that. So we've had a, a multi-decade uh, uh, history of experience in these things. So we have reacted accordingly and have a series of, of uh, ways that we all get together literally, literally in one room where everybody knows, knows the drill and knows what to do. All the important people are there that can immediately give uh, orders to the appropriate folks to uh, go to an area to take care of things. Right whatever, now, whatever that need might be. Right, I, I understand that. Now, there's also the state of emergency uh, that the governor uh, declared earlier on a Friday. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's a, uh, a declaration that's the that's the first step towards a uh, federal designation of whether or not uh, 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 our damage would level to the uh, uh, to the point of where a, a federal disaster uh, would would be uh, declared, and, and and that would. Uh, uh, develop into a lot of financial aid and things such as this that would help. We don't know if we will get to that level. We, we certainly hope we do because we have expended quite a bit of, of uh, resources. But uh, this is that's the first step for that process. Now, as far as people being prepared, uh, as you just mentioned before, what is it uh, exactly that your city does to help just the, the citizenry, uh, not so much the first responders, but also the citizens uh, remain prepared? Well, we, we, ha we have a series of uh, uh, emergency uh, warnings uh, systems throughout the city that are tested frequently, that there's a certain way that uh, uh, a, a certain uh, number of blasts means uh, imminent uh, danger, this sort of thing, and we practice that occasionally. Uh, a lot of information in, in the media about it. But we have a, uh, a small group of people that this is their job, is emergency preparedness, and uh, they have uh, a lot of constant contact with it with it with the uh, weather service for example all the media uh, 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 weather folks and so they have developed a good feel for when a good time is to, to warn and it's obviously great to warn ahead of time instead of too late so this is a perfect example of where we uh, uh, had an early warning for everybody to, to take cover or get out of the way mm -hmm. and and that really helped us a lot in avoiding a lot of major injuries. Okay, so in our final question, are you guys uh, already cleaning up or how are the efforts out there so far with the people? Uh, we started cleaning the streets up. Uh, uh, one of the first things to do, obviously, is to uh, get uh, our uh, electric company, public service company of Oklahoma, and to uh, establish electricity again. Then we clear the streets of debris, get that out of the way so everybody can get, get in and out of the neighborhoods. And uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll start setting uh, dumpsters out and have a procedure in place to where we can clear debris and uh, as as well as uh, homes that have been destroyed or heavily damaged get you know that stuff picked up and get out of the way so neighbors can get back to a normal life again. Mm -hmm. Now um, the Red Cross shelters are up and operating too is that right? They're one of the first on uh, on scene. Uh, I've, I've had the great experience of being the uh, chairman of our state chapter uh, as well as the local chapter for several years and, and we have uh, a uh, uh, Red Cross uh, chapter uh, in, in Tulsa and in Oklahoma, and a, a chapter in Oklahoma that are really state of the art, and they know exactly what to do, how to be prepared. They can take care of anything from a tornado to a hurricane. It's a pretty incredible group of people. All right, again, this is Mayor Dewey Bartlett. He is the mayor of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you so much for your time today, Mr. Mayor.